hello guys welcome back in this video we want to talk about our last conditional statement called match case statement a match statement takes an expression and compares its value to successive patterns giving us one or more case blocks so let's use an example to illustrate how to use the match case statement let's say we want to take an input a number from a user right and then predict the number that the user enters so if we have a variable called number and then that number should be between one and four that is integers okay and then we will ask the user to enter a number between one to four and then here you use the match statement to match the number all right it works like the if s statement but this is a little bit different then the cases will come beneath the match statement so we are going to use this case to compare the variable or our match condition all right so what we are saying is that we want to predict the number that the user enters so we want to predict the first number as let's say the user enters zero okay and then if the user enters zero we want to print to the user that you entered zero this match statement can be used in many ways all right so we are just using this example to illustrate it and then if the user entered one you print to the user you entered one so if you run this enter a number between one to four if we enter one we are getting you entered one let's run this again and then if we enter five we are getting nothing but the program ran all right because we haven't or we don't have a condition or a case for that so that is why when you entered five nothing happened so i'm feeling lazy so i would like to use case and then instead of getting the cases up to four i will do three and then use bitwise operator this is the all bitwise operator i'll add you to read about it search on google bitwise python bitwise operators and then read about them we will talk about them when they become useful to us later so i want to use this case as two or three all right so if the user enters two or three this case will catch it so the match case statement is much straighter <laughs> yeah the match case statement is much straighter than the if a statement i have to get exactly what the match condition gives okay otherwise the cases will not evaluate that value so here you entered two or three and then the last one i want to use case four print you entered four so now our program is complete now let's run this again and then if you enter four we are getting you entered four what about if you enter let's say three we are getting you enter two or three so let's use you entered two or three right and then let's see if you can catch the two if you entered two or three if you are doing it you can just write all the cases for all the possible numbers okay so let's run this again and then enter let's say five we are not getting anything again let's enter let's say zero we are getting you entered zero because that is our first case right so let's enter let's say a negative number and see minus 10 the program ran but nothing was printed so we can use another case to catch everything you can let this one be anything but we normally use the underscore to do this and then you can say print you entered or your number is not within the specified range okay so now if we run this code again and then we enter let's say eight you will get your number is not within the specified 
range so this one will catch anything that you enter any number because we are using int here so if you type string definitely you are going to get an error okay so this one if you type any number you are going to get your number is not within the specified range but let's see how we can combine the match case statement with the if statement and then catch negative numbers so we can say case and then we use the underscore here okay since we are saying that the underscore catches any number not within this range or not within the cases that we have specified then we can use the if number is less than zero okay then we can say print you entered a negative number all right so now if you run this and then we type let's say negative seven we are getting you entered a negative number and then if we type anything above four let's say six you will get your number is not within the specified range so this is one way that we can use the match key statement you can read more about it and find exercises and explore more about it you use it again when we want to write some programs so bye bye for now see you in the next video where we'll talk about how to handle errors in python okay bye bye